welcome everybody to another episode of Game Secrets and Tips. And today, I'll be playing The Legend of Zelda. And here I'll be showing you, well, a few secrets here and there. Like, powering up before having to go to the first dungeon in the game. And also being able to get to the White Sword before entering the first dungeon. And blue and the blue tunic, so here we go. From here, go east. And just keep going east for a few screens here. Get rid of any en enemies you want out of the way. Could avoid them all together. But some of them, well, they give off rupees, and you're gonna wanna. And they're a big thing you're going to want in this game. And... Okay, we get to this screen. First, get rid of, this, get rid of these enemies. Put a bomb here. Go inside, and get the heart tank. Now we got our first heart tank of the game. So we head right back out. And weigh all these enemies first. So, well, now we move on to our next, our next big thing here, and we go up. Keep heading north. Try not to get hit by any major enemies here. Stick a bomb here. And we got ourselves another heart tank. Now, go over here. One thing you, do, you can do first, put a bomb there, and... We now get a bit secret stash of rupees. Go up here. Go one up here. Now go up here. And this is, you're going to need this for later in the game. This is the note, this is, this is the note so you can unlock the potions. And it really stinks I do not have my whatchamacallit right now, but... Now, over here, well... Instead of going in that tree, go up the mountain, just like that, go into here, and what's this? We get a hundred rupees. See, some of these secret rupee locations are really good. However, you might, there are times you might run into one that where it looks like you're going to get rupees and all of a sudden you lose rupees and, and it says thank you for fixing my door and it'd be like oh great kill some of these tech tights here they call them Now, one thing we need to get here is the candle. Because, well, we're going to need it. 
And also, now that we have five heart tanks, we can get the white sword. And then, of course, we can get the white sword. As soon as I, well, hopefully I can get it soon because I don't have a lot of life left. So we go over here. Sorry, I had to pause there for a little bit. Go up here, and then we run into one of these guys. You know what? Just dodge them. Go into here. And since I got five of these, I can... I now have the white sword. Okay, so our next step here is to burn this bush right there. Go inside. Get that heart tank. Oh, you know I said there was a secret here earlier? Well, there is. Boy, this is really expensive. Well, let's get the shield. Now we go to the... Now... Gotta keep moving on. Go in here, give the lady her potion thing. Oh, make sure you got it selected. Hit B. Medicine before you go. You get either one, really. Hopefully you got enough. So, let's just get this one, since it's better, but... We don't have a lot of rupees out there. Okay, so after wailing on a bunch of enemies and such, and and getting a bunch of rupees, we can now head to the last location we need to get. Last secret I want to show you. So we keep, so follow where I go on the video. Wake that guy up. Go in here. And get the blue ring. That thing may cost a fortune, but It is worth it in the end because then you now have the blue tunic which which will up your defense. And here's the heart and here's the heart location you get by using the raft. Go into here. Get the heart tank and well, the hard tank you have to get with the raft is done. You go back and... Now, to get the one with the ladder. And the final heart, heart tank on the overworld here is right here. And way over on the east side here and just use the ladder and... There you go. That was the fifth and final heart container in the overworld. Next I'll show you how to beat Ganon. Well, here we are. We're up to Ganon here. I'll show you how to beat Ganon here in just a little bit. and Just to let y'all all know that, yes, I'm using the special 
version of this game on the Nintendo Switch because it's the only because I had a game saved on it that was right at the end and well I figured I'd just use this so without further ado well we're gonna fight Ganon one thing you want to make sure is make sure you have enough health and oh use the silver arrows because they're the only thing that's gonna kill him in the end First, I'm going to have to heal up. That's what happens when you take a bunch of detours in the castle, in the dungeon here. Sorry about that. Clip the silver arrows and... Here we go. Just keep stabbing everywhere you want to go. It's one way of looking at it. And get lucky you hit him. Oh! See, I hit him there. And when he... And when he turns red, shoot him with this... Shoot him with an arrow, and there you go. And he's gone. Collect that thing. And, well, that's it right there. Get this short little ending here. And well, that's see it, that's it. So like, subscribe, hit that bell, and thanks for watching.